Aloha, beloved. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope this message finds you well. I have an intention uh, to make a video once a day for a week and see what unfolds and what I can um, communicate over the next week as my life unfolds. Uh, my name is Athena Rose and I'm here in Eugene, Oregon at Hendricks Park, which is a really special place to me. And I'm sitting uh, on an oak tree in between the two trunks of this beautiful oak tree and that looks like it can join together somehow. And um, yeah, I just experienced a sensory deprivation tank here in Eugene at Ownfloat. Uh, this is my third uh, sensory deprivation experience and it's in 90 minutes of uh, being in total darkness and total silence, floating weightless and salt water and oh, so much came through so many downloads so many awarenesses so much awareness of my body and my breath and my mind and I uh, would like to seize the opportunity to speak to that because it just happened recently within the last hour and what's really strongly coming through is this awareness that my mind uh, is a, very much in control of of my experience and how I need to learn how to master my mind and so the download I received that was really like yelling at me during the session was is that I need to uh, partake in a 10-day Vipassana meditation retreat uh, this is something I've been aware of for a few years but haven't had the opportunity or spaciousness in my life to um, travel and, and take that time to dive into the meditation. But I feel the time is very near and I'm getting ready to launch to the big island of Hawaii for the winter. And I feel it's really important to my medicine work, the work that I do with ayahuasca to really um, come to more balance and um, my mind in relation to my heart and so yeah during the, the tank experience I was noticing my breath more I was able to tune into the sensations of my belly rising and falling the sensations of the air passing in and out of my nostrils uh, noticing when I hold my breath and what that does to my body and um, my nervous system and I also like to speak to how important it is that we as human beings learn how to do this. It's actually vital to our survival, uh, finding balance between the masculine part of us, which is our mind, and the feminine part of us, which is our heart. Because the mind is there to help us put uh, our visions into action and um, strategize and problem solve and that I feel like is the masculine part of me that's very strong and to get things done and to vision and to see into all the connections, you know, like I said, that strategizing. But my heart, you know, is so constricted and just noticing that in my body and my breath, the way I breathe and the tension I hold in my chest and in my belly and in my neck. And so, yeah, it's really time to skillfully learn how to um, drop out of mind construct into my heart and I was sharing this awareness with my partner and what was really coming through for me in relation to that awareness is uh, that none of us really actually know how to do that we're uh, we have the awareness now that it needs to be done you know that we need to learn how to do this but uh, I think uh, aside from ascended masters um, none of us knows how to really drop out of the mind. We've been so conditioned by generations and generations prior uh, that it's kind of like the blind leading the blind. You know, how do we do this? How do we navigate this? How do we go forward? And it's a critical, it is the critical linchpin to our evolution. And um, yeah, I want to be part of that. I want to be part of the anchoring of that new consciousness that new way of relating to our experience through the heart, through the way of the heart. And that means I need to take the time to really address um, 
and train myself how to get out of my mind and into my heart. And this awareness came through to me really strongly in Peru when I was working with medicine three years ago. At the end of a ceremony, a sister helped me to see, actually literally see how the energy flows in my body and to, um, uh, to visualize uh, my attention going to my heart instead of my head. And it helped me so much. And so uh, just the integration is huge after these ceremonies, you know. The integration is, um, I mean, why go to ceremony if you can't integrate it, you know. So if we don't know how to integrate, then uh, we can learn so much and we can see so much. But if we don't incorporate it into our actions and our behavior, then it's lost, you know, that's lost. It's like having ancient texts available, but then reading them and having all that knowledge downloaded, but then not putting it into practice, you know, that's the integration, is actually putting the teachings into practice. And that helps us to integrate it into our body, into our vibration, into our being. So I am calling in the perfect opportunity for me to sit in a meditation retreat and integrate that perfectly and beautifully into my vibration so I can help others do that as well. And I know it's going to benefit the work that I do with the medicine, uh, all these sacred medicines, in a really good way. Yeah. So I'd just like to encourage you to find a meditation teacher, find a meditation opportunity. Uh, you know, I think we all need help. There are those of us who know the practice, but um, yeah, teaching others is critical right now. And we, of course, should be teaching children how to meditate. And uh, this should be one of the first things they learn how to do is how to uh, master the, the intelligence of the mind the power and potency of, of the thinking mind and uh, use it, utilize it, you know, in, instead of allowing the mind to use us, we can be the masters of our mind. I fully believe we have that capacity now. And so I am holding myself accountable to make the intention to continue to um, practice meditation and to learn from those who are more practiced and more versed and uh, share that vibration with others and maybe even teach meditation, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I welcome any comments or questions you may have about meditation for yourself, any encouragement you may have for others, uh, how your life has shifted since you started meditating, what that means for you, how you've been able to integrate that into your behavior, uh, yeah, just the effects that it's had on your life uh, with the daily meditation practice. I already have a daily uh, solid yoga practice and um, prayer practice, and so I think this is just another additional layer that I can add and, and greatly benefit from it. So may this message find you well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions, or comments, feedback. Please leave comments here. Please like my channel. Please subscribe if you feel called. I'll be making a video, like I said, uh, every day this week for the next week to tune in to what Spirit um, wants me to share and teach. And there's something every day I've noticed, so it's good to express myself and take this opportunity to express myself. And I encourage you all to do the same in whatever form that that manifests and to hear yourself uh, get that feedback loop of hearing yourself express and, and noticing yourself in that expression. It's so powerful, so potent. So thank you all for listening. Much love and aloha.